Now, a new initiative has been announced that will see teachers trained to intervene when parents bicker. This is after experts warn it could damage children's mental health. The government has pledged an extra £11 million for something called the Reducing Parental Conflict Programme, which is aimed at helping children grow up in happier homes. We all want that. We'd all love to think of children growing up in happier homes. But, but bickering, I mean, what, you know, there's a big difference, isn't there, between... People bickering and full what do they scale. Class as bickering, and also, do they mean bickering like at the school gates? Because there's not many parents go as mom and dad to pick up no. the kids. It's either mom or dad. No, it says I think they're being trained to spot the signs in children. So if a child is maybe becoming withdrawn or you know changing behaviours, and they talk to them and find out there are difficulties at home, that they could call the parents in and address it. Oh, well, what's bickering? I mean, who doesn't necessarily bicker? There's a difference between having a little bicker and having a full-scale row. Mm. You know, if a child is at home <clears throat> and they're witnessing domestic abuse of any form, then that's completely different. But most... You wouldn't be human if you didn't have some form of bickering mm. at home. And also, what child is going to... I don't know what, what age it's at or what child... Yeah. You know, most does, kids are frightened says, of um, saying anything in case they're taken away, so they're not going to run to a teacher, really. I, I... It does say that uh, arguments and occasional bickering might <clears> seem <throat> harmless, but when this kind of conflict is continually aggressive and left unaddressed, it can cause real unhappiness... I agree with that. ..and then harm the children. So I suppose what what some adults might see is just, oh, we're just bickering to a child. If they hear that constantly, Janet, it doesn't create a happy environment. Therefore, well, brought, they worry. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but I also think that silence and sulks are even worse. Mm. And actually, what we're talking about is the atmosphere in a home uh, between two people whose relationship might be going through a lot of difficulties or they might, it might be on the rocks and they're playing it out in front of the children, and that can take all different forms. And in my childhood, I just had glacial silence, sulking, looks, like one would mm. say to the other, you know, are you looking at me like that? So and we got, the children, got that thing about, don't you look like that? So I was completely mystified about... See, I think that's was... worse. I, oh, yeah. I, you know, I grew up, my parents would bicker. And I, I, I don't feel damaged by it. I thought it was quite healthy. Well, I never thought then. I never thought anything of it. I think that silence... I, th I couldn't imagine my parents, like, going for three days, four days without speaking but to I each other. But I cannot also I imagine, worse. Ruth, going into my primary school, uh, certainly not into my grammar school, and saying, it's ghastly in my house, you know, my dad's... And mum and dad have had a huge row. My mum went off at one stage. One, one morning I got up, my mum wasn't there. She disappeared. She'd gone to live with another relative because she couldn't stand but if it some, anymore. But, but, if but at we that didn't point, tell school. No, no but if a teacher... That was then. So we're saying now, if a teacher who's been trained had said to you, Janet, just let's stand behind for a second, can I have a word? Are you OK? You seem very quiet. I would not have right, said you still anything, wouldn't have said because I don't think kids would. They, yeah. I don't think nine out of ten children won't because they won't want to go back back home and think, what's going to happen? Is the school going to write to mum and dad? Is the school going to call them up? And then... It's will all I be in trouble? I'll yeah. be in trouble. It it'll all play out. But then and it I might, will if, you know, if you were that parent just thinking, oh, we just argue a bit, it's fine. And then a teacher called you in, Brenda, and said, actually, we've been talking to your child and they're very upset the way you and your partner bicker. That, that might just wake somebody up and say, God, I had no idea it was causing them it might harm do, but or upset. Unfortunately, we've seen so many stories of, of children falling through the net and falling through the loop from people that did know and they still didn't do anything about it or say anything about it. I'm wondering if there's another alternative. You know, you have, when you're pregnant, you have midwife care during the pregnancy and afterwards. Maybe just continue that, like, three, six months, every three, six months, and you bring the whole family. How are you lot feeling with the newborn baby? And have some aftercare rather than it just stops after the baby's born, if you... That always you know. stops, and they're never going to get financial no, but support to I'm do just that. Thinking, but you agree, know, you yeah. have your midwife that, that knows your how you are, your moods and everything, and, and they can see the bigger picture. I don't know. I think teachers have got enough on their plate right now. Mm. I, I think I... what they're saying is that they're trying to stop conflict before it might possibly escalate to domestic abuse. But we've got relate. The but signs. we have relate. But also, it's putting a lot of pressure... And it's also putting a lot of pressure again on, on teachers. teachers. Yeah. yeah, on schools. It's not their job, to, yeah. Yeah. really. Oh. OK, well, that is the Reducing Parental Conflict Programme, which has just been announced.